So now I've put in the remainder of the lung lobes in our hypothetical example of tetralogy with pulmonary atresia. Here you see the systemic to pulmonary collateral artery we saw initially feeding and supplying the right upper lobe. I've now shown the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries supplying the remainder of the lung lobes. And I've also shown an additional three systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries. These collateral arteries can feed in to the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries at the hilum, at low bar level, or at segmental level. And of course, they then supply the entirety of the pulmonary parenchyma fed by the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries.